Hello friends! Today our review is about one of the best representatives of Intel Skylake series which features high performance with excellent overclocking facilities. And the most important point is that you don't have to pay extra for all these things. Available overclocking Intel Skylake processors by means of increasing the reference frequency promoted a new opinion in relation to models with a locked multiplier. Do you remember those golden days when it was possible to overclock almost every CPU available on the market? So they seem to come back. While there is a creep hole in the form of special BIOS revisions, it is worth using. Moreover, the output result is very efficient, about 20 to 40 percent increase in clock frequency. At least, representatives of i3 and i5 series showed such records, although we are going to know from this review how solutions from Intel Core i7 line will perform and will take i7-6700 model as an example. We've got for testing a boxed version of i7-6700 processor. Unlike OEM version, it includes packaging, supplied cooling system and inline documentation. The installed cooler is quite smart to cope with heat removal from the 65W solution, but when you are paying $380 you'd like to get a more efficient and what is most essential, quite a cooling system. The model belongs to Intel Skylake line and is designed for LGA 1151 platform. Marking of our processor is like SR2BT, although the market has already showed models on the basis of new industrial stepping with SR2L2 marking. The processor's rate of speed is 3400 MHz. After activating Intel Tuba Boost 2.0 technology, the frequency can increase up to 4000 MHz, although some of the cores will be automatically disabled. For example, you will have three active cores at a speed of 3800 MHz and only two cores at 3900 MHz. The value of 4000 MHz can be seen only under very low or very specific loads when just one core is activated. The cache memory of Intel Core i7-6700 is as follows. The processor can operate with two types of memory, DDR4 and DDR3L. In the first case, the guaranteed supported frequency of the modules makes 2133 MHz and in the second case 1600 MHz. i7-6700 is equipped with integrated graphics core Intel HD Graphics 530, which has 24 computing modules and can operate at a frequency of up to 1150 MHz. However, actually we haven't seen the values above 1100 MHz, despite the fact that we used synthetic tests as well as conventional games. When using the bench cooler Skyth Mugen 3, Intel Core i7-6700 heated to a maximum of 60 degrees. For comparison, under similar conditions, the temperature of Intel Core i5-6500 with the same TDP of 65 watts did not exceed 50 degrees. The difference is 10 degrees and in general this is a lot. Accordingly, employment of the supplied cooling system is likely to promote higher temperatures or increased noise. We used the following equipment for the processor testing and comparison. As expected, Intel Core i7-6700 got very close to its overclocking version i7-6700K. Although it failed to be head-to-head, -head, the gap might about 5%. At the same time, the difference in cost is 10%. That is, if you do not consider the idea of overclocking, i7-6700 already looks like a more reasonable purchase. The similar conclusions are suggested when comparing the Review Hero with Xeon E3 1280 V5. The performance is the same, although you have to pay almost double price for the server processor. And here no comments are needed. As compared to the cheaper 4-core Intel Skylake line, the hero of this review is also doing well, primarily due to the implementation of Intel hyper-threading technology in multi-threaded applications. As a result, we have a 16% advantage over i5-6600K. However, the difference in games is smaller and makes 5% only. In other words, if you want to assemble a computer of top balance rather than of maximum performance, you'd better consider i5-6600K. The saving then makes about $100. But let us remember that the market offers one more interesting and inexpected option. This time it's FX8370 from AMD. 
Despite a slight lag of 20%, this 8-core processor costs only $190. That is, the price-performance ratio is even better than the above-mentioned i5 has. On the other hand, the difference in games between i7-6700 and FX8370 is not 5 but as much as 16%. Not every gamer will be able to stand such FPS fall. In short, a lot depends on the amount of money that a user is ready to spend on the processor, and on the performance level that you are willing to get from the system. And as we have seen, Intel Core i7-6700 is rather an appropriate option for the purchase. Finally, a few words about the integrated graphics core Intel HD Graphics 530. It still cannot compete with the integrated graphics of high-performance APU from AMD A10 7000 series. The lag is about 30-35%, to 35%, but it copes quite good with running undemanding games on low settings. Bioshock Infinite, Borderlands 2, Grid Autosport. In all these projects, the average FPS rate did not fall below 25, and in the world of tanks, it was not possible to get such value even at medium graphics settings. This model has a locked multiplier, so then the overclocking is to be implemented by adjusting the reference frequency. To achieve better results, it is recommended to use special BIOS versions, which you can find in the web. But please be careful, because after the installation some of the features will not function properly or will be not available at all. By increasing the reference frequency up to 138.04 MHz, we managed to increase the speed of i7-6700 up to 4693 MHz, which corresponds to 38% scan relative to the nominal value. There is nothing else to say, it's just a great result, which makes the tested processor to be a more attractive purchase, especially with regard to the more expansion version with prefix K. During the overclocking, the supply voltage reached the following level. In this case, the power consumption increased by nearly 100 watts, and the processor itself heated up to 91 to 94 degrees, depending on the tested benchmark. Just remember that this model has the critical temperature point of 100 degrees. After exceeding this value, the throttling is enabled. The real growth of the system performance amounted to almost 14%, which is even higher than by overclocking i7-6700K just due to the multiplier increase. The only thing that you have to get is a more or less good cooler, as the installed one is likely to fail in coping with the increased heat. As it turned out, our result is not the limit, and our clocker from the Czech Republic even managed to outstep the level of 4800 MHz with implementation of a water coolant system, and our obtained value holds the honorable second position in the rating. Processor Intel Core 7 6700 has a fairly good ratio of price and facilities. If we consider the entire range of Intel's Kalec line, then maybe this is not the most balanced option among its representatives. But when it comes to high-end solutions, then the choice is rather obvious. After simple manipulations with BIOS, you can use i7-6700 in your overclocking trials, and with the same overclocking potential as the model with prefix K has. Actually, we have all the chances to count on 38% increase in speed, but even if the idea of overclocking is alien to you, and you prefer not to interfere with the system operation, it still makes sense to consider i7-6700. Unfortunately, the competitor with its 8-core series from AMD FX8000 line is yet far from winning the competition and it can only attract the buyers with low prices. Best regards to you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.